Hello friends, welcome to our digital blogger. Today we are going to talk about a very basic topic for people who are looking to enter into the stock market. The topic is technical and fundamental analysis. We will just touch base on the basics of these analysis types and see what are the ways that you can perform your analysis by yourself. Let's start with a basic analogy. Let's take an example that you went to a foreign country. Let's say you went to Hong Kong and you wanted to have some food. You went out in the market and saw there are so many stalls out there and you wanted to have the best of the lot. So there are two possible ways to do it. Either you can go in and pick out four to five stalls that you believe are doing better as far as cooking the food is concerned. Then within these four to five stalls, you can see, okay, which stall is using what kind of ingredient or how they are cooking the food or what is the smell of that food. So if it is pleasing enough, you can finalize uh, on a particular stall and uh, have the dinner for that evening. So there is only one risk in this particular way that you won't be able to probably figure out the best stall since you went ahead with your gut and uh, sort of finalized four to five stalls within the whole chunk of the market. This is very much similar to a fundamental analysis. In a fundamental analysis, you check out some of the companies that you're looking to invest in and then look at some of the reports that uh, have come for uh, different years. You also check out the industry reports as well and then sort of finalize on a particular stock or a set of stocks uh, that you're looking to invest your money into. Coming back to the same food example of uh, the Hong Kong uh, food street, the other way to finalize a particular food stall is that you just stand in a corner, just see which particular stall or stalls are getting majority of the crowds. You can make a clean assumption that the stalls that are getting huger crowds are probably making better food than the rest of them. Basically, you are following a trend and following a trend is what you do in a technical analysis. The decisions are done majorly in quicker successions and you follow or you basically analyze the overall trends of that stock or of that company or of that industry for that matter and then basically make your judgments of buying or selling stocks. Now let's dig a bit deeper and try to understand some of the basics associated with technical analysis. With the help of technical analysis or TA, you should be able to identify short term trades. You have to be very sure that you are not placing long term investment opportunities with the help of your technical analysis. For that, you need to back, go back to the uh, drawing board and do some fundamental analysis. With the help of TA, the returns can be consistent as long as you are able to figure out short term trading opportunities. The risk level always stays there but you need to know what's the right time to come out of the stock and what's the time to get into that particular stock. The holding period of a particular trade done with the help of technical analysis can be as small as few minutes or can also be as long as few weeks but it should not go beyond weeks otherwise you will be crossing the line of technical analysis versus fundamental analysis which is generally used for long term investments. Now let's see how do you exactly start your technical analysis and what's the starting point of it. If you want to do a technical analysis for a particular stock you need to see the overall trend, as we talked of the example of the Chinese food in Hong Kong, we had a trend where uh, we did our overall uh, final selection of the food stall from. Again, within technical analysis, you need to figure out how is the overall trend moving for that stock. It could be within few uh, hours or it could be within few days or weeks, but you just follow a trend. Following a trend can be done with the help of a lot of uh, UI dimensions such as the candlestick charts or bar charts or line graphs. There are too many options that are available in the market for you that directly help you to perform your technical analysis. The technical analysis basically starts looking at what's the opening price of a particular stock for the day, what's the closing price, what's the highest price of the day and what's the lowest price. Let's take this graph as an example. This is the overall trend of a particular stock for a specific day. The leftmost red block is the opening price of that stock. The second red block is the lowest price for that particular stock of that day. The third red block is the highest price of that stock for that day. And finally, the most rightest red block is basically the closing price of the day. The closing price is a lot important than any other prices as far as technical analysis is concerned. 
because it will tell you the overall performance of that stock is it good is it bad for that particular day now you see within this graph this particular stock had a lot of highs and ups but was within a specific range it started well but it ended at around the same price it started from so people who are doing intraday trading they have might have made good amount of money if they are good enough in terms of their technical analysis if they bought at the open price and sold at the highest price there is a definite amount of money depending on the number of stocks they bought they could have made there are multiple types of charting tools available to perform your technical analysis so if you are using a specific stock broker they will provide you a trading platform that will have at least 15 types of charting tools we will listed down few here there are three of them uh, we are going to talk about one by one we'll start with line charts now line charts provide you very simplistic ui they'll give you an idea right away at your face that what's the exact shape uh, of that particular stock for a particular duration if you take this example uh, for now you see the stock started at around 18 rupees and ended up at 54 so if somebody might have uh, gone and uh, looked at this particular chart and uh, made a trading decision then within that particular day there was a difference of at least 36 rupees which is a 200% sort of a return for one particular stock of that day now there are other types which are called bar charts now bar charts give you a lot more than what a line chart could have done uh, they will also give you within that particular duration they will tell you the highest the lowest the opening and the closing price now we, when we went and check out the uh, line chart this was mentioned right at the top here you see the open price the high price low and close price but at the same time within bar charts uh, if you are looking for a particular duration let's say you are looking at a week performance of that stock then within those uh, days of the week you will be able to figure out how the stock churned out for that duration the the bar made basically signifies the high price at the top the low price at the bottom and the open price and the closing price at the horizontal levels if the bar color is green that means it's been bullish that's the stock value has improved for that particular day while if it was red in color then it means it's bearish otherwise it has lost a stock value for that particular day let's take an example for a bar chart let's say a stock opened at 65 rupees so a high price of 70 low price of 64 and finally closing at 69 rupees you see the difference between the closing and the opening price is positive basically signifying that the stock performed better for that particular day so it will be signified with the help of a green color within a bar chart otherwise if the stock opened at 65 high price at 67 low price at 57 and the closing at 60 rupees in that case the stock did not perform well for the day and actually had a lower closing price than the amount it opened with it will be signified with the help of a red color within the bar chart these colors and always be customized within trading platforms but these color codings will directly tell you and give you an impact that particular stock is making for that particular duration next up is candlestick charts now like bar charts candlestick charts are also represented in form of color codings these color codings are customized as per your preferences so in this particular example i've kept it green if the market is bullish and red if the market is bearish now when the market is giving that particular stock a value which closed at a higher rate than the one it opened at it shows a bullish sort of a nature for that particular period while if the stock opened at a rate which was higher as compared to the rate it closed at it gives a sense of bearish for that particular stock in that duration now if you plug out these sort of candlesticks within the particular graph you will be able to just make sense out of it by looking at it this makes your technical analysis much easier and you will be able to comprehend a lot of information right away just by looking at it now if you look closely you will be able to figure out how exactly that particular stock is behaving in an overall trend for that particular duration so candlestick charts are extensively used by heavy traders and beginners as well for the simple reason that they are easy to comprehend and you can extract a lot of information with minimal of effort and time 
and especially for intraday trading time is a very crucial factor when it comes to placing trades buying or selling orders for a specified duration to get maximum returns so this is pretty much it when it comes to technical analysis of things we have touched on some of the basics now i'll see some of the basic aspects when it comes to fundamental analysis fundamental analysis is a long term game we will see a lot of ups and downs in the overall trend of that particular stock that you have Candlestick charts are generally used by heavy traders and beginners as well for the simple reason that they are very easy to comprehend and you can make out a lot of information with minimum of effort and time and time is definitely a huge factor when it comes to intraday trading where you can churn out positives and negatives within a matter of seconds now let's move further from technical analysis to fundamental analysis fundamental analysis is for long term investors when we say long term it could be as small as 1 year or it could be as high as 20 30 40 whatever number of years there's no cap to that but it's definitely for long term investors who see a long term future in a particular stock they are trying to invest in it will require you to do a lot of things but at the same time you need to keep a regular check on how were the industry is performing and how that particular company is panning out within that industry Let's look at some of the examples to understand in a better way. This at the left part of screen is how the stock of TCS has performed in the last 13-14 years. So it was opened up and in 2004 at a very very base price of around 200 rupees. But if you look at the overall trend, it's currently at somewhere around 2200. to say now but very very few people who started from here are still lasting till here it's been 13 14 years and the indian stock industry has seen a lot of ups and downs including tcs stock but the few of those who have actually trusted that gut actually trusted the company they have seen more than 1100 percent returns in that particular stock within a matter of 12 13 years Similarly at the right part of the screen you see a stock from Mahindra now this stock has seen a huge trust and troughs if you see look closely look at it there are huge positives and negatives coming every now and then but it's all about exactly pointing out the right time that you want to get out of the stock or you want to buy it at the right place as well so some of them probably have bought it here while some of them who probably bought it here might have seen a lot of difference when it comes to the pricing of that stock and getting the returns out of it looking at the overall highs and lows of the overall stay of this stock with positives there are negatives as well this is the stock journey of reliance power launched in 2007 at 350 rupees this is currently placed at around 5 to 7 rupees at the market price so a fundamental analysis on a regular level keeping a check on the quarterly yearly reports of that particular company gives you an idea and keeps you aware when to pull your plug out of that particular stock so if people are still stuck at that particular stock they are not going to make any sort of returns as far as reliance power is concerned the time of pulling out the plug has already passed out so this basically gives you a positive as well as a negative idea on how fundamental analysis can work so placing your bet on just the company won't really work uh, on a long term level let's quickly talk about another example now in the past instances what we have seen what either it's a positive sort of a trend or a negative but still there was a trend however in this particular example what you are saying there is not a definite trend that you can trust upon so either it's a very low figure or it goes very very high so people who bought this particular stock at this point in time at somewhere around 25 rupees might have seen a direct low right away from the point in time they bought it so for people who are not patient enough they have gone out of the stock right away while the ones who done the fundamental analysis correctly who trust the company and the industry on long term level specifically they might have waited here probably some of them might have went out here itself some of them here and some of them have seen might have seen a lot of returns as far as coming from 25 to around 40 rupees is concerned so it's again all about your complete analysis it's not a gut feeling like in technical analysis you might have seen there but as far as fundamental analysis is concerned it's pure maths and at the same time you have to trust your judgment what exactly do you need to perform a fundamental analysis 
well you need to make sure that you're reading the financial statements including the balance sheet the profits and loss statements the reports at a quarterly or annual level so this could be a company level report at the same time you also have to go to the depth of the industry and see how the overall industry is panning out keeping a close eye on the competition is also a good idea a regular access to news channels magazines newspapers is going to add as a supplementary information to your own fundamental analysis every calculation you do needs to go into an excel sheet which has to be maintained over a period of time so that you can look back and see what exactly have you done in the past and how exactly did you perform it so at the end of the day it's going to just help you on a long term level this is it for the fundamental analysis and the technical analysis we just covered now from here if you're looking to open a demat account and have not finalized a particular stock broker then you can check out our link rdigitalblogger.com/freecallbackbrokerchoice provide your details there and we'll set up few callbacks for you this is it for the video thank you so much for watching it we hope you liked it in case you did please go ahead and press the thumbs up button we'll really appreciate that you can also let us know whatever feedback you have in the comment section below please don't forget to subscribe to our channel our digital blogger for future videos of a similar topics thank you so much for watching the video again have a great time bye bye